5, a basket brawl lands a Miamisburg player in the hospital and as a Fairborn fan facing possible charges. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. That fight happened Friday with just four minutes left in the game. Megan O'Rourke spent the day talking to school administrators about the altercation. She's live with details. I talked to both Fairborn and Miamisburg school superintendents today, and their message is much the same. They are both disappointed that things got so out of control Friday night. Now, all day I've been working to get a hold of the video so that you could get a first-hand look at how it all went down. But I've been told all the recordings are now in the property of Fairborn police and the Greene County Prosecutor's Office, who were called in to investigate. Fairborn and Miamisburg basketball players battled on the court here at Baker for 32 minutes Friday night, but it's 12 seconds of scuffling that everyone's talking about. This picture, taken by our partners at the Fairborn Daily Herald, captures the chaos after a loose ball turned into a full-blown fight started by a fan. You can see a pile of players, cheerleaders rushing to get away, and administrators hurrying to help. Miamisburg junior Austin McCoy was seriously injured during the brawl. He was taken to the hospital with what school officials describe as serious facial injuries that will require reconstructive surgery. Obviously it's a serious situation. We're not happy with it. Uh, again, uh, all the reports are I don't think it was necessarily a big brawl uh, from the tapes and what I have heard and what they show from Fairborn as well as from our own, our own coaches that were there. Um, but it was again just a senseless act by one or two of, of, of the Fairborn people that were at the game. It just put a bad taste on, on our relations at this point in time. On Monday, fans took to online message boards, voicing their outrage at the same time school officials talked to students in an effort to keep the peace. I went to Fairborn Superintendent Dave Scarberry's office, but he was not available for comment. However, later over the phone, he told me the 18-year-old student fan involved in the incident has already been suspended from school for 10 days with a recommendation for expulsion. In addition, one Fairborn player is suspended for at least two games, and any player who invests Investigators can determine came off the bench will also face a one-game suspension. Officials from both districts call it a disgusting act and one that they ensure will not happen again in the future. We'll do the things to continue what we felt was a good relationship up to now. You know, I don't think you want to take the senseless act or judgment of one or two students and, and you know, paint the picture of all of Fairborn. Now the men's basketball teams have already played twice this season, so they're done. But the women's teams are scheduled to play at Miamisburg on Wednesday. Superintendent Whitehead tells me they will be talking to students ahead of time and take extra precautions to make sure it all goes smoothly. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News.